all right guys for kage hero and welcome back to the brand new video here we are solo leveling arise will be the topic i wanted to make this video as soon as possible even before an actual update which is happening tomorrow more precisely we're gonna talk about should you summon for the silver main beast form uh how it's pronounced i always i always mess up but i believe it's back and I, I call him bike because it, it's just the easiest for me in Croatia pretty much uh, however the word is spelling that's how you say it that's why I usually when I don't know how to pronounce it as I, I say it how it's right but anyways yeah new back should you summon for him especially if you're a free-to-play player of course we're gonna also get the brand new a song weapon but you're gonna summon on this banner anyways so if you would like to get this new weapon we're gonna analyze it tomorrow when we're gonna know much more but definitely it will be broken weapon like every ssr weapon for the song is broken so definitely it will be worth summoning for i can tell you right away now about about back okay should you summon for him should you summon for the new radar banner the most simple answer is when he drops if you're a free-to-play player do not summon for him immediately have in mind choi will be still here while he drops so that will be the, the people will be able to try uh, everyone who, who will pull back for example like me hopefully uh, I'll, I'll be able to showcase him and you're gonna know how good he is so Currently now I will show you again the data mines and we roughly know based on the gameplay they showed us as well today We know roughly how he's gonna work if not even really precisely how he's gonna work uh, I, I definitely believe he'll be broken <laughs> I definitely believe he'll be doing insane insane damages that bleed mechanic will be incredible but the, the like the real question is is he worth it do you actually need him okay so that will be the second discussion but first of all i want to tell you this immediately please do not summon for him do not summon for beck until people actually try him out until we youtubers content creators try him out until we analyze him as much as possible until we build him up to the proper extent and then by watching our videos, by searching on the internet, you're gonna find out how good he is. And is he a must-have character? Because when you look at the at the hunters, or let me go into codex. Hunters, okay. So we already have Libora, who is a dark typing. Now she could be low-key a pretty decent DPS, but mainly you use her for the charm, so you do so you get the increased damage uh, by 15%, 5 depending on what are you using. But like this, she's literally buffing the damage you're doing on the enemy. So that's her main usage. Now we also have like uh, Bech, he will be insane DPS, right? But also we already have Lim, who is an insane DPS and who has insane ultimate. And I don't still have him, bro. I wish I have him. He's super busted character. And yeah, break light, break light, uh, break heavy, uh, increase the user's core attack damage, break medium. Like he's a crazy breaker as well. And his ultimate is doing massive, massive damages. Have that in mind. So we, we're gonna need to really, really uh, test out back so we know for sure, yo, he's even a million times better than Lim, go for him. But overall, free-to-play players, they should definitely wait out and not summon for him. Why I'm talking about that? Because the next characters after Bech will be much more important. Uh, I'm talking about Alicia, I'm talking about Sa why they're so much more important than current um, new character that will draw back because we have like already said we have dark element damage dealers we have them but uh new Tsa will be the first real light dps character back the human form he is really solid like he's really really good and currently now the best light dps but Tsa will make uh will dominate on another realm and definitely Tsa will be a must-have character 
also Alicia. She will be water element uh, character. Currently now, what we have is this SR, water element character who is like really, really good. And Sal, Jiwo, who is extremely broken. But Alicia is extremely needed overall, especially against Cerebrus. Plus, she will be uh, doing those freezing. Uh, she will have triggers after you stack certain uh, certain thing i cannot remember i believe it's called frost um like interruption freezing shield bro she is doing insanities so tsa and alicia by the looks of it are so much more important characters than actual um back right so much more important characters have that in mind so be on a lookout because of that we're gonna go now and check out a little bit again the data mines or although we already done that on one of my previous videos but i still want to do it again just like briefly talking about this and just want to show you the importance of alicia and sao overall way more important than a back at least in this current situation now so free to play players again i repeat please do not summon immediately when he drops let's wait out until whales especially test him out like i believe pain blade will go all in there he's a whale and especially the number one player actually that's she <laughs> yeah she will also go all in so you can honestly i i will i will summon immediately i will build him up but definitely those people will build him up much faster because they're spending much more money overall so they will have a good presentation of the beast form back and like this you're going to be able to make a conclusion for yourself overall okay yeah like just like main point is we already have dark dps so it's not like 100 we need him but with that bleed system and buffing of attack he might be actually stupidly broken and maybe a must-have character but we still don't have uh, we still don't know yet until we actually try him out so just want to put that out there so just so you're careful and you don't wait waste your summon currency especially if you're free to play because you won't have enough for Ta and alicia and in my eyes they're much more important characters uh currently speaking than back who knows how in future every like the game mechanics the game meta ch tend to change depending on the level you are in the game and depending on what developers will do something new etc so have that in mind i believe all of these characters will be a meta in at some point and in some uh, battles have that in mind okay also many people keep on asking me still guys this this is transferring don't worry okay this like this ticket just save them up you will summon with them for bike also the pd is transferring don't worry so when back back when back drops I'll be at 14 out of 80, okay? And then Choi will leave, but the pity will stay, stay the same. So don't, don't worry about that, okay? And like I said, the weapon, every SSR sung weapon is crazy broken. This new weapon won't be an exception, so definitely it will be worth getting, okay? So that's about that in-game, what I wanted to say. Just, just mainly I want from you that you're c careful and that you don't do some stupid thing and summon if you don't actually need him so be on a lookout check out the analysis uh we're gonna make a conclusion overall is he a must summon or not but for now wait out by the looks of it he probably is not a must summon but ta and alicia ta will drop on a global launch 100 percent, and then alicia afterwards okay we might get choi rerun after that and then uh beast form back rerun afterwards we're gonna see precisely how they're gonna do it but this is pretty much the global timeline we can expect now i honestly like i already read this you can check out my previous video i already checked the alicia i already checked the tsa so i honestly cannot be bothered to reading this again because you really have a lot of videos of me explaining about those characters again just like really short dark typing insane dps will be beast back um bleed meta more bleed you do bigger damage you're gonna be able to with support ultimate to buff everyone with attack and yeah a, a lot of things overall for the end we can just like simply uh check out the solo leveling arise 
Come on, internet, bro. We can check out solo leveling arise one more time, like just like this trailer, and with that we can end the video. Although we already watched it, but yeah, let's let's just do it again really quickly. Okay, I don't know what's happening with my internet connection, like usual. Uh, okay, so let's just watch it out one more time. Uh, and yeah, like I love this unit. He looks insane, by the way. The, the decision will be on you. But the biggest tip that I can give you, hold up on your currency when he drops. Wait out, wait out, wait out, wait out. Don't go all in for him. You will need Sa and you will need Alicia. Trust me, even more than him by the looks of it now. But who knows? Who knows? Like when you look, Sa... She can do, like, with her sword, she can cover half of the freaking map, bro. He, he cannot. He cannot. Alicia, again, she's doing so much. So much more than uh, Beck. But still, that bleed, I believe he'll be freakishly insane. But I still, I believe it will be worth skipping at the end if you're free to play. But like I said, tomorrow we're gonna discuss that must summon category. For now, that's all what you need to know. Hold up on your currency, wait out until we try him out, until we see how good he is, and then you can decide for yourself. Okay guys, with this we're gonna end the video, hopefully you did enjoy it, and yeah, see you next one, bye guys!